I mean, I'm gonna get one eventually, right? Here it is. You know what that calls for? Celebration. Guys, you don't have to buy 10. Purple! Gold! No way! No way! <laughs> no way, bro! We got the grave soon! I was memeing! Oh my god! No way! I was just baiting you guys and bugging you! <laughs> Holy shit! We got a gravestone! Oh my god! I don't even know what to do! I mean, I have to use it, right? I have to use it now! I have- like, it would- it's just gonna scale so hard! Right? <laughs> bro, bro, what the hell? Free to play God. Free to play God. Oh my lord. Okay, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the pity on this really quick. There's a purple. Alright, give me a cool character. Yo! Noel constellation! Now she can heal properly. Wait, is, whoa, wait, wait. Wait. Now, if you're wondering why my voice is gone, it's because I was actually playing Outlast for a charity event thing. Uh, I had to play from the beginning to the end of Outlast. There was a lot of scary moments. I was screaming. I lost my voice. It's coming back today. I feel pretty good. But when I saw the Wolf's Gravestone drop, I couldn't believe it. So on the basic banner, we've started to do quite a few wishes just, you know, from the start when I was re-rolling. We got a Lisa, we got a Sacrificial Bow. We are getting towards Pity here, so eventually, you know, when we get these fates, we'll get it. But I need to really start saving my Primo Gems again. I went a little bit willy-nilly. I, I don't know why. We were doing a, a you know, Geoculus, and then we were celebrating when we'd get a new level, and we are you know, it was getting a little stupid. I need to make sure I save these, because if there is a banner... That's got a character that I really want. I need to be ready for it. And at this point, I kind of threw away some 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 primo gems. Now, that's okay because we got really lucky. This was our ninth wish, and then we're like, "Hey, wait a second, we're at pity for a purple." So we ended up getting the Favonius Codex as well, which I heard is really good on Mona. So that's something we're gonna check out. But we got the Wolf's Gray Stone after nine wishes. Now, on the other banner, we got Noel. Now. I'm actually really hyped about that. I think Noel is going to be our second healer. Um, we're going to be building Noel. We've got the prototype Aminus now because we got Wolf's Gravestone. So it's maybe not her best in slot graves, uh, or, uh, greatsword. But we have one constellation on Noel, which means that she's going to get a lot more healing or a lot more um, consistent healing, I should say. So I think we're actually going to build a Noel, which I didn't think I was going to do, but I think that's going to have to happen if we want to push further into the Abyss. So look, while Sweeping Time and Breastplate are both in effect, the chance of Breastplate's healing effect is increased to 100%. So the entire time you're healing. And there's actually a pretty good timer on this. So, um, you know, I, I might not use Noel a whole bunch. I'm not going to have her out on the field the whole time. But when we do, we swap. She's tanky. She heals everyone. And um, I think that this is going to be a pretty big upgrade overall. And as I said, you know, even just getting this and getting that base attack is going to be good for Noelle. She's going to be pretty decent. She's going to be a pretty good healer for our team.
Now, I wanted to catch this on camera. We're buying a Northlander polearm prototype. Now, I want to explain in a minute, but this is going to change everything, and it's actually going to be giving us our second main DPS character, Shang Ling. Now, we're also going to be buying all of these four memories of immovable crystals. This is four constellations for our character, giving a lot more value to that main character. I'm pumped about it. I'm excited about it. I mean, it, that's a lot of uh, sigils, but there's no other real reason to use these. We're also going to get this, get a bunch of money, and look at that. We're gamers. Now, I need to farm a few more materials, but we are going to be making two, count it, two crescent pikes. Now, I want to explain why. This weapon's broken, and uh, the description here, this passive, is not correct. Now, it says, after picking up an elemental orb or particle, normal and charge attacks deal an additional 20% attack damage for 5 seconds. Now, it's not doing 20% more damage, it's doing an extra attack for 20% of your attack damage. So what that means is every single time you attack, you're getting an extra hit. And that extra hit can crit. And that extra crit can scale with your stats. And when you start refining this and getting a higher percentage here, Crescent Pike becomes one of the best weapons in the game and it outscales even some five-star weapons. The Crescent Pike is broken. And if you haven't built one of these, hopefully long-term you get lucky with some bosses. But this weapon is going to make Shang Ling an absolutely insane DPS character. Now, if you look at Shang Ling and you look at how fast she attacks, right? Every single time she's attacking, you're getting 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. And then I think it goes up to 30 or 40. But this weapon is going to be carrying our team. Now, I did level up her Dragon's Bane, but it's only level 20. Not the end of the world. We can always switch back to Dragon's Bane long term if we want to just make her a support. But I think we're going to gamble on making her our main DPS. I don't know when I'm going to get a 5 star. I don't know when I'm going to get another character that's going to be better than her. And so I think it's probably a good idea to just commit to the Crescent Pike and have another really good DPS character. As for artifacts, nothing has really changed. We've got quite a few purples, but I've been pretty unlucky overall. Uh, we ended up leveling up this Berserker Mask just because it was decent, but nothing too insane. Uh, we've still got a blue goblet. I have not found anything worthwhile on this character. Uh, I need to do something about my timepiece, though. But all my timepieces have defense on them! They're all trash, bro! Every single one of them turns into a big piece of poop! Now, I might be able to take this one, but I don't really know. I, I don't know. It I'm just not really worrying about artifacts. I hit hard enough. I pretty much one hit. And again, this feather is pretty much carrying us. So it's Saturday and we're going to farm all of this material. Pretty much all of this material uh, because this is what we need for Venti for his bow. And we also need this for the Wolf's Gravestone. So I'm going to have to farm a whole bunch of these. And uh, I might even do uh, like a 50, uh, a 50 resin refresh today just so I can get as much progress on that as I can. I'm gonna get enough materials that I can make sure that I'm ascending it at AR 35. I also need just a handful of talent books. I need a few more for Venti, and I need a few more for Beto. Um, this is gonna be second priority. I'm gonna go for the weapon ascension materials first, because I do need quite a few of those. And if we've got a little bit of resin left over, we'll do this. We are very close to AR 32. I've got 21 more Geoculus, which are around the map. I've actually got those right here locked down. I count them out. We need 21 more, and we've got 21 spots that we've got to go to. So it doesn't look like I missed one. I'm very happy about that. I'm very excited about that, knowing that as soon as I clear these off the map, we're going to be having max stamina. We're going to get a bunch of experience. That's great. We also have a ton of other experience around the map that we just that we haven't used yet. Like, we've got, we've got all this. There's multiple groups of experience here. Uh, we've got one over here. Where are you? I think, I think this one. No, this one. We got, like, I think it's, like, almost 3,000 experience in, in these quests. We also have our daily commissions, which is really nice. So once we do these daily commissions, we're going to be at AR 32. And uh, we still got to fight the boss for the week. So I need to do this quest line so that I can fight the boss, the wolf boss. Because that could be a good drop. Maybe I'll get another uh, spear prototype. I don't know. That would be incredible. Because then Shang Ling will hit like a truck. But we are going to soar past AR-32. And honestly, next week we're going to hit AR-35 pretty easily. 
We've got a ton of quests still available to do. Look, like, tons of quests. We've got hundreds and hundreds of experience here. And uh, on top of that, we've got all these story quests. So this is a ton of experience. This is a ton of experience. We are going to soar. I honestly think we're going to get to AR-45 uh, before 1.1 at this rate. We've got like 10 days. Yeah, maybe we don't have quite enough time, but we are going to be absolutely grinding on this account, leveling it up. I've been streaming every day on twitch.tv slash mtashed. So come make sure you check it out because you don't want to miss the next time I pull a wolf's gravestone after just nine wishes, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess one other thing. See, we actually got a lot of these chapters done. Um, I'm going to ascend Shang Ling right away here. So that's going to be done. Then we're going to get some more experience here. And we've got a bunch of the stuff in Chapter 6, even Chapter 7, even Chapter 8 already completed. So that's exciting. Um, as for the Spiral Abyss, nothing's changed. I haven't, uh, I haven't really dabbled in the Spiral Abyss. We will. Uh, I've got 17 hours until the Abyss respect, resets, but that's only for floors 9 and beyond. And so I can't actually really do anything um, there. I can't really, you know, get any extra benefits here. So we're probably just going to chill. We'll do this when we have the strength. We'll do this when we have the teams that are, are, are available. But uh, it's not like I'm going to get to A3 yet. It's not like I'm going to get into floor 9 yet. It's, it's just impossible with my team. So we just got to relax. We just got to chill. Have a good time. Anyways, that's, uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.